The dome we've got here is a nine metre igloo dome. So we've got a, a full panoramic screen inside, which actually comes down to, it's very immersive in this one, it's perfect for the sort of gaming or small audiences. The screen comes down almost to sort of 30 centimetres off the, off the floor, something like that. So you really are, your eye line is right into the centre point really of the screen. Yeah, so um, we're, we're quite proud of this one. We're just using, no, no, we're putting up, up the dome up the structure at the there. moment. This is a, a new structure that uh, Igloo have produced. Um, in collaboration with us at ICCI, so we're, we'll be using this as a test facility back at the university to try out work for the um, Olympic Games, the Paralympic Games, which are coming up in, in 2012. Um, <clears throat> so, as you can see, the screens are just going up at the moment. They, they, they all hang on a ring, and they, you can see the quality, of the quality of the screen as well. It's a very, very high quality screen uh, in this environment. Well, we're at Shepton Mallet because we're, um, we're doing a call for content, really, for our events, which take place next year in Weymouth and Portland uh, as part of the Olympics and Paralympic Games, uh, where we've got a 21-metre dome. This is a 9-metre dome here, but a 21-metre dome on the seafront there. And we're going to have a series of festivals and events, um, really celebrating the whole concept of 360 image making 360 as a performance space as well. It, what we're looking for is actually filmmakers to create 360 productions. Now they needn't be made as a, using specialist cameras, they can actually be used using fairly straightforward video facilities or, or graphic facilities um, to create a 360 image. Now that can be done by creating a long thin strip and uh, using various animation techniques. Um, just looking around you can see some images of, of previous productions here uh, going up there. So it could be take, produced as a graphic or we do have technical facilities where people we've got a, we've got a thing called a, a ladybug camera which is a 360 camera which shoots in all directions at all times and then it's, it's edited to give you that immersive uh, production. We've got a theme, we've, we've looked at the, the theme of the Olympics and it, it's building on the, the, the dynamism, the power, the technical expertise that are really um, and, and obviously skill that are embodied in the Olympic spirit and, and sporting excellence. And so we've come up with this theme, it's a very generic theme called In Motion. So people can interpret that in as many ways as they like. They can think about perhaps the body in motion or with, we're down in Weymouth, it might be thinking about wind and, and how a sail actually moves. Um, it could be motion of air or motion of a javelin. Or It's very much a theme, it's a starting point and for, uh, as a catalyst. And we're hoping that uh, we have filmmakers, designers, graphic designs but also performance people so dance uh, who might think about creating work which will then find people to collaborate with them to create visuals that would go along with their, their choreographed piece. Um, my name is Elizabeth Bolt and I'm the deputy head of St John's First School in Froome. Uh, we're having an experience with the year three children from uh, the school and they've come to see the 360 uh, dome cinema experience and they're having a fantastic time. One group did this yesterday and we brought the rest of the children today. They had such an amazing experience that um, we feel that every child really, everybody should experience this, it's brilliant. I asked the children yesterday what bits they liked best and they, they said all of it. I mean, they, they remembered the 360 degree um, experience very, very much so um, and truly delighted with that. And they felt, even though it's not just visual, for them it was um, taking part in it as well. From being a filmmaker myself, I'm immediately thinking what I can create in it and it's lots of ideas getting generated just by having like, it's almost like a new medium, so that's quite exciting. I thought it was an interesting space actually, the, um, um, obviously it's, you, you know, you've got a surround sound system going in there. Uh, also though the reflective sound in the space, I think you could do something with a lot of live, um, you know, I don't know, live performance in that space, it could work well as installation sort of space I think. I think, I mean it all comes down to storytelling still. Yeah, I've got a few ideas already after whatever, an hour in there I'm thinking, I've, I've come up with what I think is five interesting visual ideas that could work well with some sort of sound, you know, I don't know, some sort of sound design of some sort. From the sound point of view, I think it's really important to have someone who knows what they're doing with sound in there because it was really interesting because you're no longer looking at what the filmmaker's giving you, you're making decisions where maybe the filmmaker's leading you and the, the best way to do that in there, it felt like, was sound because it's that kind of uh, primitive reaction to, oh, what was that noise yeah, yeah. over there? 
and uh, directing the viewer a bit. Yeah, and I, I think that's probably the best way to kind of, if you're going to tell a story where people are choosing things and feel like they're choosing things, but they're actually not, they're being manipulated. Sound would probably be the most interesting way to do that. Cool. The camera, how yeah, how it was built, and then how you can take 360 without um, other cameras. You have that scene, how they stitch it together. It's awesome. Yeah, and then the way like you guys projected it out, it's really cool. It's like the animation, the movement, and everything's really nice. While I was there, I had ideas popping up already. How to animate, how to use the surround sound with the animation, even the camera and the projectors, all that. Uh, I would like to see more animation because I'm also an animation student. So then, of course, film, I would like to watch more film about it. So it's really nice and it actually gives me like communicate more and just circling around to see everything. We're kind of thinking of a proposal as well to be introduced. Yeah, it's really nice and interesting. I actually quite liked all the balls. They're all bouncing up and down around you and coming, which coming forward and back. It was all 3D. It was pretty fun. Yeah, it was pretty good stuff. Oh, I'd, I'd like to see a ladybird thing in the rugby on the spider cam. So yeah, in amongst the rugby, it'd be awesome. My name is uh, Matt Kingscope. I'm a teacher of media and English at Sexy School. Um, there's a huge amount of potential. It's really about creating sensory overload, I think. Um, and it could be quite an emotive platform. Yeah, I'd like to see it cover a variety of different formats, different um, topics, as it has been doing. But yeah, it's a very exciting medium. It is my first experience of a 360 film. Yeah, I'd like to have a go, but I don't know if I'd <laughs> be able to make anything as good as what they've got in there, but I'd like to give it a go, yes. The experience has really highlighted the potential that 360's got, I think, particularly as 3D. If it can become 3D, that's really going to help because obviously the fact it's around you highlights the fact that it's limited to 2D. But it can become so immersive it, if it can get in 3D and it really takes that to a new level. And there's a lot of potential, I think, for it. Weirdly, I think the most simple one, the animation actually worked quite well because it just gave you a sense of it going around you and you being in the center and kind of inside the picture, uh, which seemed quite, more, uh, quite immersive. One thing that can work quite well, particularly if it ever did get 3D, is like crowd shots because then you feel that you're really turning your head and you're actually at the event because it's around you and everything. Um, so I think there's a lot of potential there to really make it more than just looking at a screen and make you feel like you're there more.